Hey, my little wilderness explorers. We're back with lesson five today. Now, we have been studying how we have pretty much the United States have came about the frontier. OK, we're, we're exploring the frontier. And in our last few lessons, we've learned about Daniel Boone, who helped become by being a trailblazer, meaning he was the one that found the way to um, get over the Appalachian Mountains so the settlers could go west. And we know that he built the or expanded the wilderness road so it's easier for families to travel. And we know that um, he adventured on to see what was beyond the Appalachian Mountains, okay? But when all that happened, the Native Americans got pushed out of their land and they kept getting pushed further and further west or they got pushed further and further north so or south. So they were forced to move, just kind of like how the settlers were moving. Every time they would move, the Native Americans would move. And so that would force them out of their homes. Um, now, we also talked about Thomas Jefferson. He was our third president of the United States. And he sent James Monroe over to France because he wanted to purchase New Orleans from the French, em French Emperor Napoleon. But not only did he buy New Orleans, he also got the New Orleans or the Louisiana territories, which we called the Louisiana Purchase. And he wanted New Orleans because he wanted us to be able to use the Mississippi River and be able to travel on it anytime we could or wanted to, instead of having to ask permission from France. So now I want us to look, let me see if I can share. Let's look at this map here. So here's where we started started on the east coast of the Appalachian Mountains, okay? Then Daniel Boone helped us cross the Appalachian Mountains, and then we discovered this part of the Western Territories on the west side of the Appalachian Mountains. Remember, the Indians have lived all over these areas for thousands of years, and we're pushing them further and further this way. So now, then we had James Monroe and Thomas Jefferson purchase New Orleans for the Mississippi River, and all of this green stuff before. Now, just like Daniel Boone, he didn't know the area, so he had to go explore it. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about some people who are going to learn and explore this green area, because we don't know what's in the Louisiana territories. We have to explore it. So today, we're going to listen to find out who's going to explore the Louisiana ter territories and what their tasks are going to be. But before we can do that, let's talk about our vocabulary words real quick. We have three today. Assistant, a person who helps someone in a higher position. The new president of the club, she was allowed to choose one assistant to help her. Brave, showing courage and doing something even if it may be dangerous or frightening. The boy was brave when he rode a bike without training wheels for the first time. And the last word is co-captain. Someone who shares responsibility as captain or leader. As a co-captain of the soccer team, the girl was able to lead a few practices. Okay, so let's get started with our read aloud today. We last, we learned last time about the Louisiana Purchase when the United States government purchased the Louisiana Territory from France. Once the purchase of the Louisiana Territory was complete, President Thomas Jefferson wanted to send explorers to make maps of this new land and learn more about it. Thinking about the Louisiana Territory, Jefferson wondered, is it possible that there are tigers or elephants living out there in those unexplored Western lands? No one has explored enough to really know. Perhaps there are plants whose leaves could be used as medicine to help sick people, or which would be delicious to eat. My Native American friends who live there have brought me a few plants to study, but I'm sure there must be more plants and animals which even they have not seen. I need, or Jefferson prepared to send explorers into the Louisiana Territory. I need a leader to, uh, I need the leader explorers to be someone I can trust, someone very brave and very smart. So he needs somebody that's going to show courage and he's going to 
have somebody that knows what they're doing, okay? So they're looking for somebody who's not afraid to explore places that nobody else has been. President Jefferson suddenly smiled. Why, I know just the person for the job. He sat down and wrote a letter to his former assistant or his helper, a man named Meriwether Lewis. Jefferson asked Meriwether Lewis if he would lead the team of explorers. <clears throat> okay, so do you see right here on this red right here? Along the Missouri River, that red is the path they're going to take. Okay. Jefferson had reasons for wanting Lewis to explore the Louisiana Territory. Jefferson wrote to Lewis first, I want you to find out if there is oh, hold on a page. any all water route to the Pacific Ocean. Travel the Missouri River, while, which branches out to the western west from the Mississippi River. The two big rivers meet at St. Louis, so you could start the trip along the Missouri from there. Perhaps the Missouri River flows all the way to the Pacific Ocean, or if it does not, maybe it connects to other rivers that do reach the Pacific Ocean. You can find out, you can find out for us. Second, you can collect samples of plants and animals so that we will know what grows well in the lands we have just added to our nation. Third, you must also become friends with the Native Americans you meet. You will want to bring along presents for them so they will know you come to offer peace. So, okay. So he wants them to find a, a river or a, a, a waterway that goes all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Now, remember, this is our, oops, this is the Atlantic Ocean. We live nearest it. But over here is the Pacific Ocean. So he's looking for a waterway to the ocean, just like how the Mississippi goes into the Gulf of Mexico. So he's gonna start at St. Louis where the Mississippi and the Missouri River branch off and they're gonna see. They also need to study the plants and animals because they need to know what grows and lives in that territory. Because what grows and lives in our area, this area right here is a lot different than what grows in this area out here, okay? And he also wants them to become friends with the Native Americans. Why would he want them to be friends with the Native Americans? So they can help them, right? They're gonna be helpful. <clears throat> when Meriwether received the president's letter, he was very excited. However, he was a thoughtful man. He wrote back, I'm very honored that you have asked me to do this, Mr. President, and I will do my very best for you and for our nation. With your permission, however, I will ask a friend of mine, William Clark, to help me with these tasks. <clears throat> so this is William Clark. He's got red hair too. William Clark and I became great friends when we served together in the army. He and I worked well together. Clark is very good at drawing maps, identifying plants and animals, and he has a lot of experience with Native Americans. I would feel much more certain that we could do the things you asked if William Clark captain Nini as a co-captain. So they're gonna share the job. President Jefferson agreed. All right, so here's Lewis and here's Clark. As Lewis and Clark prepared to start their journey, on their journey, they did not know that the dangers and wonders they were about to face together would make their friendship even stronger. So what dangers and wonders do you think Lewis and Clark are gonna find? There's lots of unknowns in the Louisiana territory. They might find animals they don't know about. They might find plants that could make them sick if they did. They may run into some Native Americans that aren't very friendly. They may discover beautiful lands. They might find Native Americans that are helpful and friendly. There's lots of things that we don't know about in Louisiana territory yet in this time. So it's exciting, but scary too, because it's very dangerous. All right, friends, I'm going to pause or stop sharing. Um, actually, no, I'm not. Let's go back up here for a second. All right, so I want you to look right here in the green, okay, our territory. Louisiana territory. 
Why did Thomas Jefferson want someone to explore the Louisiana Territory? Yeah, because we didn't know anything about it yet. We wanted to learn more about it. Who would explore the Louisiana Territory for Jefferson? Lewis and Clark. All right, what were the three things that Jefferson wanted Lewis to do on his trip? Hmm, let's think. He wanted them to find a waterway to the Pacific Ocean, study the plants and animals, and make friends with the Native Americans. So those three things. He wanted to find a waterway to the Pacific Ocean, study the plants and animals, and make friends with the Native Americans. Why were those three things so important? Helps us build our new country, right? Having those things helps us build our new country. Uh, let's see, is there any more questions? Do you think you would wanna go explore with Lewis and Clark into this new territory? I don't know. Kind of exciting, but kind of scary. I don't know if I'd want to do that or not. Guess we'll see. All right, in our next lesson, we're going to continue on about Lewis and Clark and learn more about what they discover and who they meet and things like that. Okay, friends? So don't forget to go answer your questions in uh, Google Classroom. Remember, you can always rewind the video and watch it again if you have questions, or you can email me. Just let me know. Any questions? Don't forget to turn it in. Bye, little explorers. I'll see you guys next time.